What's cooking, ladies and gentlemen? I am Castrol J, and welcome to Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 Project Visionary, a super expansive mod that adds a bunch of new characters to the game, switches around the backyard, and just does other various. We are also playing using the Private Play Remastered by Mr. JT, I believe, or Gabriel TM, and we are using the improved HUD mod, which basically just gives the different HUDs different colors. We are playing as Wildflower for the first character of the series. I wanted to just go through a list of like all the characters. Is that hackers have? If you don't know, if you somehow don't know, Garden Warfare 2 and 1 and BFN have basically been plagued by hackers that once they get your game account, they will just ban you. Uh, at first, it was when you got into an online lobby with them, they could ban you. But apparently, now it's just they can ban you from wherever. So, like, if they just find your name, they can ban you. Which I thought was interesting. So, I came up with a method. If I just name myself different things every couple of days, then there's no way that they can target a specific kind of YouTuber if you just choose the most random names. So today, we are masquerading as Dora the Rizzler. And Dora the Rizzler, we're gonna check out Wildflower. But yeah, see, as you can see, everything in the backyard looks pretty, pretty different. Um, right now, I want to check out a round of Team Vanquish. Skin has basically was just implanted from Battle for Neighborville, from what I can tell. Also, we have so many different characters to go through on the series. See... I have experimented with a few of them, just like testing out to see if the mod worked, and it does. After a certain amount of time, like 40 minutes of me playing it, it will just randomly, like, glitch out and kick me out of the game. As you can see, this character has a decent amount of splash. You know, it's nothing super special, but yeah, your aim has to be really on point when you play this character, and yes, I did just get killed by a toxic imp. But what I really like, he only has one ability. But it's the dandelion. And he has like exploding shots. He is so cool, bro. I love this character. Really promise once you die with him, you die with the uh, regular. His splash damage is insane. And he has like... Yeah, once you die, the only difference is that your real wildflower dies. Which doesn't happen in BFN. I'm hoping someone will come back and update this mod. And like, because there are certain characters that are like never finished, like this guy, you know, he only has one ability. And it would be so cool if someone came back and finished it, because there is so much potential for this mod. It's already like blatantly insane. Alright, he's choosing me. You can shoot once you're like pretty accurate. You can shoot super fast with this character, but I prefer to just use a, his dandelion. Once you zoom in, I almost feel like you lose accuracy. His shots have sort of like a uh, long, like they have an arc to them, which makes it kind of hard to aim from a distance. So he's better at close to medium range, I'd have to say. And goop targets. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, see how quickly you can just light into people when you... Uh, the sound just completely went out. First I thought my headphone jack got pulled out, but no. What is happening right now? Bro, what? It's got a weird sound to it, too, like, this sort of strange sound effect. This, okay, this is a little weird. Look as fast as you can with this character, and he just lobs shots. He's still a very glitchy one, like, you can tell he wasn't completely finished, though, just from the way of how all he acts. I spawn him, does always, oh, he keeps my health, dang it. I'm gonna die now. I'm on, like, he could just sprint tackle me and it would all be over. Oh my god, could you land your shots, Casserole J? Yeah, I like the I like the feel of the character. Like I said, aim could have been made a little better, but that's okay. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, bro, he can still hit me around this corner. Oh, Sunflower just got... She's got it, you know what? Uh, I feel so bad. Oh, wow, we're doomed, we're doomed. <laughs> Stay away. If I just keep shooting him, he can only reach me from a certain, yeah. And he wasn't moving full speed. Alright. Let's take out who we can before we die, because inevitably we're going to die. Bro, how is he not dead? Okay, I guess take back everything I said about the splash damage on this character. It's oh! Okay. This is not a very close game, I'm gonna be honest. 1,000 coins from... 
Dora the Rizzler is so good at this. Oh my gosh. What is this sound? Now all the sound is gone again. Bro, wait, what is happening? Alright, we're we are back and we are taking it from the top. Cause I just could not stand those audio glitches. I feel like that was a decent enough showcase of him. So now we're gonna take a look at Hypnoshroom. Which let's look at his abilities. Hypnoblast. Fire the Hypnoblast on the ground to send all teammates and enemies flying when it explodes. This will also apply a jump boost to all plants affected by the blast. Um, attach this to a zombie to confuse them and damage them. Place down a hypno bubble to trap zombies inside and heal plants. Ooh, so it's like that one ability Nightcap has. I like him though. He his design is cool. I mean, they did just take him from the. He's got interesting sounds. He's got a little buggy jump, but whoa. This better not do much damage. What's his emotes? He doesn't have any. What do you want from me? Ah, what do you want? Please! Also, the fact that he has three abilities just makes him more of an interesting character. Four damage? That's really good for, like, the consistent shots. If he had any more than that, that would feel a little unfair. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, you can only hit four damage, but that makes sense, kind of. It's so quick. It feels like it'd be unstoppable, but it's really not. If you're accurate, like I am right this second, then you are an unstoppable demon. And I'm not accurate anymore. Let's throw down this bubble and heal our teammates. Whoa, that's a that's quick healing. Whoa, okay. Can they shoot us while we're in this bubble? I don't think so. This does so much damage. That did no damage to me. Oh, I... Okay, when you die, you just get stuck in a glitch. <laughs> I'm just floating in the air. Oh, you, you have a cool respawn animation, though. I like his movement. Uh, it doesn't feel too glitchy. It feels a little better than the wildflowers. Wildflowers was really glitchy. Teammates, get in my bubble. Oh my gosh. Okay, being that I am a decent teammate, I will heal them or revive them. Wait, let's apply this beam to this guy. It won't work. Oh! That's cool. Okay, that does good damage too. Let's just destroy whoever this is. It seems to think I was healing the dead goat. Alright, we're just taking this base by storm. Alright, let me attach a beam to this goat and just kill him without even looking at him. Alright, I'm healing up. Okay, they can still shoot us while we're in the beam. What is he looking at, dude? Alright, let me just... Ah, oh, hop up onto this. Oh, I can't get up. Oh, I lost my jump boost, but that's okay. What is this imp doing? All right, yeah, this character has no splash damage, which definitely feels fair, considering, you know, he has the railgun accuracy. I like this character a lot. Like, he's definitely... I like him more than the dandelion, I'd say. His abilities are really cool. I also like that we haven't had any, like, weird audio glitches with him so far. I am using him well, but this is not the kind of character that is used for long range. Once again, I think he feels like another semi-close range kind of character. Because, you know, then you can hit insane damage. Let's apply this beam to someone. Oh, that didn't last very long. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see this guy here. Okay, thank God he backed off, too, because... Where'd my ball go? Okay, here it is. I feel like this character is actually shooting faster than before. Alright, let's attach the beam. Oh, and just poison him to death. Oh my god, you can just destroy imps, like, in a matter of seconds. That is busted. Alright, is there someone in here? No? Okay. We have to guard it with everything that we got. Alright, let's throw down this heal bubble. It's not going to be enough to really do much, but we'll try.
I survived that somehow. Okay, if I take damage though, I die, so let's just not. I still don't have the hover goat or the torchwood, but I tried playing regularly again, and it doesn't permanently give them to you, which is good. I wanted to unlock those guys on my own. Where are you going? I swear this character, the more I shoot with him, the faster he's just getting. He was not hitting that damage before. Who is shooting me? Okay, here's a karate zombie. I also do karate, so I'm just not going to kill him. Whoa! You would think that would do more damage. But... Alright, here, let me just jump at these guys. Oh my god! They can jump so high now. They're so beautiful. Alright, get this uplink bot out of here. I don't even have to use the beam if I don't want to. Alright. Oh! I he was not shooting this fast before. I feel like he just keeps increasing his speed every time I do this character. Yeah, like using this against the hero. This works. This works very well. It's okay. I'll heal us. Just unload my clip into whoever's nearest. Okay. I hear a bomb. Yeah. He's walking and emoting, bro. What? What was that? I uh, didn't reach her. We need to rush this for sure. We're doing okay. Oh, shoot. That was Stupid. smart. Whoa. Okay. They're still scarily accurate, randomly. Oh, no. I don't know what the karate zombie does, so... Oh, apparently he can... Oh my gosh. He's, <laughs> he's scary. Okay, he just drop kicked him and then died. Ow. Oh my gosh, he destroyed me. It's this toxic imp. He does so much damage. Is he supposed to get within a certain range of his, like, mouth beam thingy? You just died. Cool. Alright, we can jump now. Try to shoot this, buddy. Oh my, I accidentally used my beam. Oh, I wasn't in the circle. Character should be able to, like, when he kills zombies, he summons a little hypno mushroom. Like a spore, almost. Let's get to- oh, <laughs> bro, it's this Captain Cannon. It is the same Captain Cannon every time. But thoughts on this character? I like all of his abilities. Some are a little glitchy. Some, like this jump one, it's cool, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. You shoot faster when you put on this uh, jump. You must. No, I have to reload. No. I don't know who this character is linked to, because I think all the... Uh, I don't know if this is true, but I think to stop it from glitching out the rank plate, they just link your character's level to like other characters in the game. And it seems, I think that's how it is, but I'm not 100%. Alright, let's just stick the beam to him. Yeah, and he just dies. Of course, because he's an AI, it doesn't matter that much, but the damage is good enough. Alright, let's just... There we go, get down. I'm in the bubble. Everyone's in the bubble. We're all busted. Alright, touch that before it even lands. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Who keeps spawning these uplink bots? They're really annoying to deal with. Stay at a distance when fighting that creature. I feel like just mixing all these mods together, adding a few more, like, a few game-changing mods, like, add a few more, you know, summonables, and this would feel like a basic Garden Warfare 3. Now, I can't really see anyone making any maps, like, a map mod, because that does take a lot of work so maybe just improve the current maps that we have already though this is a very solid mod i really like like all of the characters in it no one's actually too glitchy they're all worked on pretty well well enough i suppose stick our thing to him there we go skill that is oh you can't even hit me can you i'm already jumping all right let me throw this down though because this shield doesn't make you impenetrable It's so hard to just choose one target to settle on. Oh! It doesn't really hurt any zombies, I don't think. It's interesting, but it seems mostly useless. So, I think this... If I had to remove one ability, it would probably be this... This one. You know, every character has to... Oh! Every character has to have bad abilities, because they can't just... All be busted. And then I'd be happy with this character. 
Because see, you can already do so much damage. If you're fast enough, you can. You just gotta be fast. Oh shoot, I walked right into that. Like, it's right there. I like how headshots don't really matter. Like, you just, you just get hit. Oh my god, he just goes to his default character pose when he dies. Got him? Oh, okay, I died. I got a little progress, though. Probably should have turned around and just fought. I'm on 61 kills. Man, Dora the Rizzler is so good. Shot him out before he could even come out of the sky. This poor guy. Oh, speed upgrade. Is this linked to Hot Rod Chomper, then? Oh, it must be, because he's one of the only characters besides, like, scientists who can get that. Alright, you and me. I'm going to throw down here, and you can defend us. Um, we got problems. That is good to use against scientists, though. Or imps. It just drains them. Or even just super brains. Any characters that really get decently up close, you can just... That's a bomb. Alright, let's throw this down here in the open, so anyone who needs it can get a little extra heal. Okay, never mind. I can do it through the wall. That's such a Is hack. Oh, oh, our eyes move. I didn't realize that. They actually swirl. Properly. That was a good run. We almost got it. They were defending really well in that last point. I mean, for AI, 74 kills. We look super cool. <laughs> I like how the electric rose is just electrocuting the scientists. Now, that was an episode featuring the two spawnable characters, Wildflower and Hypnoshroom, uh, featuring Dora the Rizzler. If you guys want to see more Project Visionary modded characters, hit the like button and consider subscribing. We're at 412 subscribers and we've been making really good progress. I'm so happy. Casserole J is officially out.